Hello and welcome back to Universe Sandbox 2. And today, yet again, we are going to be looking at suggestions from the subscribers who make this channel possible. So, the real question is, which one is first? I'm just going to go from the most recent down. So, let's see the first suggestion. Make Jupiter the size of V.Y. Canis Majoris. Okay, guys. Let's do it. Jupiter. Let's quickly figure out the size of V.Y. Canis Majoris. And... That would be here. That's 17 suns. So we just have to go to Jupiter. Sun. 17... Pause real quick. It looks like we have a supernova. So we're gonna slow this down a very lot. And let this supernova do its thing. Now um, we have a. Um, that doesn't look like a black hole. It looks like we've actually created a pulsar. <laughs> we have created a pulsar. And it's just going along doing its thing um several planets aren't very happy uh, earth not really affected much actually oh not very affected except for the entire ocean global ocean being completely destroyed um no water left all life gone Oh, that's weird. The lights are on as if it's night. <laughs> but there's no one left. Ah, how sad is that? Okay, so let's look on to the second one 50 Earths versus Jupiter. Let's just plop in Jupiter. Like. So, and we'll just have to count. One, two, three. That's my five. Okay, I think we can agree the carnage is pretty bad. Jupiter is not having a good day. And now we're just going to speed this up and see what Jupiter looks like after it's all over. Now we're just going to delete some of the fragments to get rid of a bit of lag. Because these won't affect it anyways at this point Jupiter's already been beat up enough doesn't need any more hate and the hate against Jupiter today call this channel and send a donation to end end all the Jupiter hate we accept visas <laughs> okay we're almost done except that won't that apparently isn't actual fragment now we can, there's still a few, but not as many. Now let's look at Jupiter. Does Jupiter look any different? No, not at all. Jupiter took 50 Earths pretty easily considering how much mass 50 Earths is. Jupiter is only, um, well, I'm not going to say only. Well, it grew a quarter, but we just have to subtract a quarter. So Jupiter is actually big enough that even that didn't do much to it. 
toward Jupiter. Okay, so let's look at our next suggestion. Make Pluto bigger than the sun. Got it. So let's zoom out all the way to Pluto and never says how much bigger than the sun, but to have fun, we'll do twice as big as the, the sun. I almost said as big as the fun, but how big is the fun? <laughs> Okay, get that, put a two there, bam. Oh jeez. We just created another supernova. This seems to happen whenever I mess with anything. So let's just make it 1.1 times the size of the sun. Seems like a better solution. There we go, it's actually a star. And do we notice anything happening yet? No really Pluto's so far away even its star form doesn't seem to uh, affect us much we can see that over here the light from Pluto is causing a sort of half night to appear but other than that nothing that bad going on the question is when will the Sun be attracted to Pluto we're gaining some speed here so let's speed things up this is a few years by the way that's going by so immediately not much of a change but now we can see the sun is gaining speed which is going to probably throw off our climate a little bit eh, not too much but we are going to continue getting closer to Pluto as time goes on geez this is slightly laggy and Jupiter's being really messed up here. I think we're going to lose Jupiter. Nope. We did not lose Jupiter. Although, Neptune and stuff has all been flung. Do I have another game running? That's a great question to ask. But no, I don't. Huh. I wonder why it's being so laggy. Like last time, we can just delete a few unuseful things to lighten up the um, load on the computer. And now we're about to actually have the point at which Pluto and the Sun pass by each other, and not much is really happening. <laughs> I was expecting something a little bit more exciting. But, you know, everything isn't always awesome. Okay, give Earth rings. See, that's actually really easy. And I will even do that on a cooler simulation. Earth and Moon will give the Earth really big rings that the Moon can just rip apart. Ring. Rings. Saturn. Add. Just add a few more. Just, you know, I guess I can only add one now. That's kind of disappointing. No, I can't mess with it. Why? Oh well, Earth looks pretty good with rings. Let's look at what it would uh, seem like from the ground with rings. So you'd look up into the night sky and see that. Or if you were a little bit higher up, you look up into the sky and see. That actually looks really cool. <laughs> or if you were on the poles, And no matter really where you are, you don't see much of it, but here is definitely the best place to view it because you can look around and see pretty much the entire ring. You can also see the moon. 
How interesting. Oh, well, there's Earth with rings. And here's the Earth being destroyed with rings. We... Ouch. You know, I know why it's lagging. I did something dumb a while ago. I put my settings on too extreme. And, well, they only really need to be on high. I really didn't fix anything. <laughs> And there we go. Earth has now been destroyed and has rings. How exciting. Do do. It's kind of uh, banged up. Rough around the edges. Okay. Let's see. We're expanding the Earth to the mass of the Sun. Do do do. We gotta scroll up a little bit. Go over to Earth. Go to the Sun thing. One. We should really slow this down first. The. Never mind simulation. Just do whatever you want. I'm not controlling you or anything. So Earth has stolen Mercury. Sun's feeling a little bit salty about that, so I think the sun is going to try to get some of its planets back because now the Earth is also going to take Mars. Oh, jeez! Oh! Oh my! Mars hit. Wow. Mars hit the uh, sun Earth and actually made it explode. That was interesting. Did not expect that to happen. Um, learn something new every day. These have got to be big fragments. Yeah, they're all bigger than Earth because one sun is uh, quite a bit. Well, there goes uh, Earth. It's totally what would happen. Do do do. Make new continents on Earth. I mean, technically I can't do that, but technically I can. There's a very simple way to do this in this game. I don't know if any of you uh know about the uh, what I call the planet editor. You just put your mouse over where you want to remove some land. And it'll put land around here in the form of a crater. All you gotta do is press one of the number keys. And, um, bam. Look at that new continent formed. It's beautiful. It's new. I'm going to call it West America. Okay, so uh, West America is doing well. We have quite a few smaller craters all over the place, or I'll call them. Um, we've got more continents. Look at them all, even though they're going to fill with water after they cool down. But, um, yeah. So you add land. It works every time. Guaranteed. I think we are actually, we went inside of the earth. So this is what the inside of the earth looks like. It's um, completely uh, hollow. As you can see, everything you've been taught is a lie. And when meteors hit it, it just bends inward a little bit. That's true, so if anyone was ever wondering. Now we can even just go right inside and look around. 
Let's look at Flipside Africa. Come on. Come on. The world's moving too quickly for me to go in. What's that? We're going to have to select Earth and turn off its movement. Motion. Zero. Zero. Come on. Zero. Actions. Zero velocity. Here we go. We're going for it. Do, 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 do. Oh, I think it automatically slows us down as we get closer to planets. So I'm not sure this is exactly possible. Oh, no. That's a lie. Here we are. So here we've got um, anti America and um, anti Russia and. Uh, let's see what else we can see. Anti South America. Anti Australia. Anti Asia. I mean, wait, what would happen if we threw something from inside? This needs to be tested. Jeez, it's really buggy doing this. It's kind of hard to stay. But I, I know why, because you're not technically supposed to do this. Imagine doing this in the VR mode. It's one way to give yourself a headache. Oh my. How did I do it the first time? Oh, there we go. Okay, ready? Going to be firing something. I hear the explosion. I just don't see the exp Oh. Maybe I'm just going a little bit too fast. No, I see it there for a second, and then I think it just comes out the other side. Yeah, it just shoots out debris. Interesting. Hmm. Well, guys, um, if you don't know, I do have a um, competition going on to win uh, Universe Sandbox 2. There's two copies being given out on the 28th, and um, you can basically enter before then. And if you win, congratulations. There will be a uh, link in the description if you're interested. Um, it doesn't cost any money to apply or anything. You just basically have to subscribe and then there's things you can do to get more entries. Once again, nothing paid, just like referring other people to it and stuff. But thank you for watching, leave a like and subscribe, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure to say so in the comments, or else, um, Slenderman will murder you in your sleep. I warned you. Um, goodbye!